I love the movie. Oh, thank you. You don't know thank what's you. gonna happen, and it's really. We're so sorry you got cut out. Really good. Yo, can you tell it me was, why? It was. I. You know, it. You were stealing the light. Oh, yep. I can see that. You I know? can see where. Yeah. You did me. You did me a big favor by. Yeah. By. Bowing out. By bowing out. You're yeah. right. I did yeah. steal that scene. Um, <laughs> No, it's really, uh, I thought, especially that, because that's how it's kind of one of the first scenes. It opens up real big. Yeah, that's one of uh, my favorite scenes is the, I come to Moscow and I'm an analyst, so this is my first time kind of being in the real world. And I encounter this very large gentleman and I get in this fight with him. And I talked with Ken, the, the director, about it. And oftentimes in action films, you get into these fights and People die, and you get into action scenes, and no one's sweating. No one's freaking out that you, know, you have to inflict some you know, pretty heavy stuff. So we wanted to see what it was like to have a real guy in that situation and how he would react and, and the fear that you know, comes with that. And how, how long did it take? Because that was really, I mean, I'm sure that was not you. That had to be some stunt people. Because there's, how long did it take to shoot that? That was about, uh, I think, a week. You know, it takes a lot of choreography to figure, even in a small, confined space, the, the fight takes place in a, in, in a bathroom. Then they build the set, obviously. But uh, it takes a while to figure out the choreography. And, and, uh, and midway through, I actually broke my finger um, in a very dangerous stunt. Um, <laughs> I love saying that. I feel so, uh, so hardcore. Um, How did it, you break your finger so, and then do this? So, because it was didn't so wimpish. I did have a split, but. It wasn't like, it wasn't in the midst of any like great, I just feel like such a. How did you do it? Well, it was, so I'm, I'm throwing this haymaker punch and in film, in film acting fight time, it's not, you don't actually throw a punch. You have to throw these kind of wide punches to make it seem, to, yeah. so the camera Here, can see Here, punch me, it. I'll show you. Sure, like this, right? <laughs> Bam. But except did you that saw work? that side. It's supposed to go to the other side. Wait a minute. Okay. Did it look like you hit me? No. I did? I thought. <laughs> It didn't look real at all. We're, okay. pro we're professional. So, so you're doing that. So anyway, so I'm doing it, and it was a long day, and I just kind of, I, I did it lazily, and my finger just swiped his jacket. <laughs> it was just kind of like very, very oh, no. un, unmasculine. Oh, That's no. Work. And, uh, and then there is, there's definitely footage of me going down in a heap of just. <laughs> just, oh! Yeah. <laughs> Awful, awful sounds. But to, to mm -hmm. how, how can you, well, you must have been going very fast to hit, to A break. very fast yeah, slap. A very fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sad. But it's very physical. There's a lot of running. There's a lot yeah. of, you had to be in, in good shape. And you're working with Kevin Costner, who's fantastic in it as well. I mean, he's, he is such a cowboy. He showed up to the, we were doing press, and he was in his cuff jeans and his cowboy boots and his vest and... You know, you forget that he was, he was, uh, I mean, he's Bull Durham, he's Dances with Wolves. At my age, at 33, I think he was making Dances with Wolves. Uh, I mean, he's an icon, so it, yeah. was, it was incredible. Yeah, he's a great guy. He's great guy, and he's got a band. I mean, he's, he's got a lot of stuff going yeah. on. Yeah, and you shot in, and you actually shot in Russia, didn't you? We shot, yeah, we shot most of it, actually, in, in England and London uh, and around there, and, and Movie Magic makes it look like it's Moscow, but we did do like two days of guerrilla filmmaking in, in, the, in the heart of Moscow. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful city. Um, and and I, I think there, you know, there's a lot going on with them right now with the Olympics being there mm -hmm. and their stance on their policies. And you've been very outspoken about that, which I think is great. I, you know, I have certain feelings about it. I know, uh, you know, I'm a friend of Zach Quinto's and I'm very sensitive to, to that issue and obviously what their policy on it is not, uh, I mean, it's archaic and, yeah. and uh, not of the 21st century, clearly. It's not. And it's a shame. It's a beautiful city. It's, a, it's an amazing place. It's a place stunning and, city. Yeah. And so much history. What I find, like, driving in from the airport, you have all these layers of history. You get the communist block, just kind of concrete, you know, 50-story tall apartment buildings. But the closer you get into the city, it becomes this kind of interesting serpentine, cobblestone street. I mean, you forget that, you know, it was only whatever. 100 years ago, and it was a completely different, uh, completely yeah. different world. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful, it, visually, it's a beautiful film to watch. It really, in, in, in every aspect yeah. of it. Um, all right, we'll take a break, and uh, we'll be back with Chris.